Okay, so the center of the entire reading is the Six of Swords, and that is traveling to calmer waters, going in, on the right path, and not always acknowledging it, not knowing that that is the right path, but you're going through it because you know you're supposed to, but you're just not 100% sure about the outcome. And that's because you can't really see what's going on because you have all of these swords in front of you. And so that can often symbolize uh, emotional or mental unrest that you just keep doubting yourself and you're carrying all of these swords with you on this journey when you you could let them go and it would make it a lot easier even though you're going in the right direction you might be complicating things for yourself uh, making it more difficult to get to where you want to go all but it's all within your mind so uh, just recognize that that you might be complicating your own life and you can make it a little bit easier in the love sector, we have the Knight of Wands. We have Strength reversed. We have Eight of Discs reversed. So it looks like you could be, some people could be starting a new relationship uh, with a Knight, a Knight Fire kind of energy. So Fire people are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So they could be really fun, outgoing, they could naturally perform well uh, on stage or just, you know, people want to be around them. And when the Knight of Wands comes in, it comes in very quickly without thinking, uh, without thinking of the repercussions of the actions. So it could be really exciting and thralling, but not necessarily exactly what you need for this time. Now, the reason why I am a I'm not concerned, but it's something to bring up is that we do have the eight of discs reversed here and we have strength reversed here. Okay. So I feel like for some of my Libras, you might be unable to pull yourself away from this, even though you know it's not in your best interest. So you know that you shouldn't necessarily be giving all of your life force to this person, but you are anyways, because it's just too hard for you to let go right now. And, and I think this is a lesson that you actually need to learn about taking care of yourself in a relationship and doing what is healthy for you. Because this Knight of Wands is taking care of themselves very well. And, you know, they're leading their life the way that they want it to be led. And so I feel like in some regards, Libra, that you might just be following and appeasing to keep the situation very, very calm and easy. And so I really want you to think about how this relationship or if it if you are in a, a solid relationship and you're married or you just have a long time partner, think about this relationship and what it is, how you are reflected in it, and if you are living in your truth. And if you aren't, then I think that is something that you really have to pay attention to and tweak, you know, make sure that you are getting everything that you need out of the relationship, as well as taking care of yourself as an individual. Okay, so that is something that you might need to just start building that strength towards. And, and I think this person is really here to teach you that lesson. If you are not with somebody and you are, you know, out dating or you have just met someone, then this is definitely very similar to those of couples. You know, look, look at them and see how it is resonating with the rest of your life and how it is impacting you as an individual as well as somebody in the couple. Are you giving too much of yourself for this relationship? Are you um, cutting yourself short to keep everything going? And if so, then that is something that you really need to look at and tweak. Okay. Then over here in career, we have the initiate. Seven of Wands. And then Nine of Cups reversed, and the Initiate is reversed as well. So this is also, we're, we're battling in career. We have to defend ourselves, you know, we have to defend what we believe in. And, and so I don't, like, when we have the Initiate upside down, it, it's kind of like the establishment is not with you, okay? They're kind of against you, but you, you in your heart of hearts know that you are right, you know, and so that's that's what I'm 
I'm definitely getting is that you aren't in the mood to, you're not trying to gloat, you're not trying to be a uh, know-it-all or, um, you know, that kind of energy of ha-ha-ha pompous. What you're trying to do is you're trying to do the work and do it in an honest way, but it might be that your higher ups, uh, people who are against, who aren't necessarily against you, but uh, don't see eye to eye with you, are really going to show up in December, you know, and you're really going to have to stand in your truth here. And and you're doing it in the right way of not being pompous and not being kind of arrogant about what you're doing. You are, but you have to, you will have to stand your ground if it's what you truly believe in. It will not be an easy, easy road. Um, I keep getting the word the establishment, establishment. So if some of you guys are in politics or are working in situations like that, it might I, I feel like you guys might have to really stay really strong and um, true to yourself. So, but I think, you know, I don't really see the outcome on this, but that's, this is like the start of, of your, your journey when it comes to your career. Okay. It's the start of uh, a new process for you. And, and it's going to be a little bit more complicated, uh, but worth it because you are going in the right direction. Okay. Yeah. So stand up, be strong. Even if, you know, your boss doesn't agree with you, be respectful, but still, you know, say, Hey, this is what I truly believe. Is there a way that we can kind of work together to come to a decision instead of making it black and white? In finances, we have the four of cups. Okay. So I think you, uh, are, you're letting, you're letting go of some, some habits that you have been, that have been kind of holding you back financially. And you're kind of, once again, it feels like you're finding your self-worth in the financial realm. And it's been a difficult road for you to recognize where you need to go uh, monetarily. And it's been a challenge too, because you it feels like you want to indulge in a lot of different things. And when you do that, you feel really guilty about it because you could have saved that money for a rainy day or um, you could have, you know, invested it in a certain way, but you, I think you're recognizing because we have the unconscious and that is reaching a higher realm, even though it's at a price, you know, you had to go through some very difficult things to get there. And so with the four of cups in reverse, it's, it's, you know, when we have it upright, we have this feeling of just being satiated and ready, done with whatever it is. And with the Four of Cups, you still have that feeling, but you understand that there's a little give and take in it, okay? So it's like, okay, I have enough, but being grateful for what you have and knowing that you can still build, but you don't necessarily, you don't have to. Um, And then we have the Five of Cups in reverse. And when it's upright, it's, you know, we're very upset over something that we have lost, even though we we know... um, even though there are things in behind us that we can grab for. Uh, so there's things around us that we could be utilizing, but we don't recognize them for the power that they actually are. So in this, I, I really do kind of get the sense that, uh, you know, you know you can grow, but right now you're in a good place. And that, yeah, you, you tend to like to buy nicer things, but it's not something that will um, make or break you. But, you, you know, it might be something that you are letting go of just a little bit more because you understand the the level the the emotional and the soul level to your money that it is an energy too so you're giving and um you're giving and receiving in an equal way and so this is kind of what you're you're going through right now is understanding that mon- the monetary exchange if doesn't just affect you physically like in the physical realm, um, you know, the through cars and houses and food, but also in the emotional realm, since we have the cups here too, it's very, it's a very emotional attachment for you. Uh, and so you're, you're finding that balance within it. In health, we have the universe. We have six of cups reversed, and then we have the four of wands reversed. All right. 
So having the world right there is always a wonderful card to have because it, it's, you know, the world is supporting you and wants you to stay healthy. Now, the thing with the four of wands and the six of cups in reverse, I think the way that you are going to stay healthy this month is through self instead of group. Okay. So I think this is a month of, you know, if you usually do group classes or, uh, you know, <laughs> I keep hearing Tybo. <laughs> so if you guys are doing Tybo, d keep it up, but also go on a hike by yourself or go on a run by yourself or, you know, in the morning, take your yoga mat outside and do it by yourself because the, the world wants you to really reflect on who you are and saturate yourself in you with your health okay so it, it's asking you to um and i feel like there's a lot of libras who who love group activities to exercise and take care of themselves i'm not a libra but i definitely am one of those people who uh feels i, I like i can only work out if i'm doing it with a group but this, I think that's because it's this energetic exchange too of giving and receiving. And so that's now, you know, that's the theme of all of this really is a give and, a give and take. How much do you give? How much do you receive? Is it balanced out? And is it helping us, you know, go to the journey that we, that go on the journey that we need to go on? So yeah, so I would definitely take some time to yourself for health. And, you know, also just watch out a little bit for the holiday festivities. Enjoy, definitely have a great time. But I would say ver limit yourself to what foods you eat that are really, really greasy or, uh, you know, and also alcohol. Make sure not to drink as much, okay? Because you're already coming in from a time where that's very um, prevalent in November. And I feel like that could also be why right now it's asking you to uh, take a moment and just take care of yourself um, because of that. So just, you know, um, one, one or two glasses of wine and then switch over to, you know, some water <laughs> would be great, okay? So Libra, let's call on the angels and see what added guidance we have for you. Angels calling in the highest of light, the highest of energies to guide. What are the additional messages for Libra? Top one. Be willing to forgive. Hmm. For some reason, I'm not resonating with that. So I'm going to give you another card. Emotional sensitivity. Okay. So this one is be willing to forgive. Ask the angel to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. Well, you know what? Spirit always hits it on the nail. I wasn't resonating resonating with it, but after reading it and sitting with it, yep, that's that's pretty right on, especially with the Six of Swords being your center card, okay? So it's letting go of the past, forgiving yourself for things that have happened already, forgiving others for things that have been done unto you, and moving forward, yeah? So this could also be the karmic tie that's happening with the Knight of Wands of finding the strength within yourself to carry on, okay, and do what is best for you, wh whether that is stay with them and find a compromise or move on uh, in your life and let this person go. So this is, yeah, this is definitely right on nail, nail, what is that nail in that nail in the head? No, what is that? The hammer, nail, saying, somebody, anyone, let me know. Okay. And then the second one is emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. How beautiful. Okay, I'm going to read that to you one more time. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Yes, Libra. And that also, I feel like, really links with your career, too. And, and also, you know, finances. But if you truly feel deep in your bones that you have to stand up for an aspect in your career, for a choice, for a project, for, you know, just anything that you believe in when it comes to what the work that you are doing in this world, stand up and 
do it because that deep connection that you have, that sensitivity you have, the respect that you have for the work that you do is so important to us. You are doing the good work and we need you to keep doing that no matter what your profession is, no matter, you know, if it's being a garbage man or being a senator or being a teacher or, you know, whatever it is that you are doing, we need you and and the energy that you are putting into it and the sensitivity that you are putting into it with all the details and how you want to carry on and it's worth fighting for for you, we respect and we need that. So absolutely carry on with that. And I'm also going to pull an animal spirit knowledge card for you. So this is just kind of like your spirit animal for December. Okay, so the heron symbolizes life, feminine energy, and renewal. That's... Oh so great so yes it's a regeneration it's taking the feminine energy within all of us whether you're, you are male or female we all have a yin yang to us taking that that emotion that we have and see how it links to emotional sensitivity too so if you're embarrassed about this emotional sensitivity which uh, is um i feel like a lot of you are embarrassed by how how tied you are to your emotions this is a gift okay and this is how you are going to move forward and start something anew. So call on the heron to fly you to through December, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's rising from the ashes, um, carrying on, moving on gracefully through the waters, through the sky. 